Hey, what's up everyone? Mendel here. I uh, hope you're all doing awesome and wonderful. So I thought I'd make this quick little video um, about how I use OBS to screen capture in the highest quality as possible and also capture the highest quality, quality audio straight out of my DAW, basically any source uh, I can choose without changing um, anything in Cubase basically, like with the ACO or downloading anything like voice meter, banana or any kind of stuff. So let's dig right in, here we go. So first of all, to showcase, um, here we go. So this is a song of mine, Harpsichord. I'm gonna play the audio and you will hear the audio in high quality. So as you can see, as you can probably see, like the screen capture is in 4K, the highest resolution on my screen, and the audio is, uh, I record it in CD uh, quality without using anything like voice me and that kind of stuff. So basically why this video, I've struggled with this for years to screen capture it how I want it to be. And I, I would say hopefully, but perhaps you too as well, like finding a way, like without changing stuff in your DAW, like with ASIO kind of stuff, going back and forth screen capture, I just wanted to have, everything set in Cubase, just use the ACO from my interface and then screen capture everything in high quality, both video and audio. So let's start uh, at the beginning. So this thing basically saved my life, which is this ACO plugin. And I'll drop the link in the description box below. But you download this, uh, close, make sure your OBS is closed. You install this, open OBS. And then you'll see when you add like a source, it's just like ASIO input capture, and that's basically what you want. So how I have this set up, so basically this Cubase is my input capture, and I'll show you the settings. So over here I have virtual one, virtual two, and I'll show you a bit later how I have it set up. But basically for you, or with your interface, you can put this on monitors left and right, and you'll be amazed, but it will straight like capture everything that's coming out of your monitors. So. Lovely. The reason I have virtual one and virtual two over here is basically I have like room correction software. I'll, I'll share right here. So this basically, uh, I, I treated my room, but it's not perfect. So I did some calibration and that's on my uh, control room, basically my, my master bus, sort of speak. But if I would do monitor uh, with my system, it would also record um, this EQ curve, which I don't want. I just want how it sounds in Cubase, not how it sounds out of the speakers with my room correction. So that's the reason I have virtual one and two. Now in Cubase, and it's probably different on every door, but in Cubase when you press F4, you see outputs and you see here stereo out, which should be always there. And this is where you, if you want, you can put like monitor left or right or output left and right, whatever it's called on your interface. I have like an Apollo or two Apollos, Universal Audios, monitor left or right. But since in Cubase Pro, I've routed the monitors to my control room over here. So basically anything I do on the stereo bus uh, or basically anything I do here is bypassed or technically ignored when I export it, which is what I want. That's the reason I use my virtual one and two uh, on my stereo out and use those two as inputs on my device. And as you previously saw, when I play music, it nicely shows up in OBS. So just to recap that small section, because now we'll I show you, show you all my settings, but just to recap that small section, um, you don't have to use your virtual inputs. If you don't use like room correction software, you can just like basically any input you want. I can select my, on my interface inputs and also use uh, my monitors as inputs, but also the virtual one and two, which is how I use it. 
Now let's go to the crucial settings, how I record everything in high quality. And it took me a while to find the right settings, but here we go. So I'm sorry this is all in Dutch. This should be export with a third from the top. And on the record tab, make sure you are in, in advanced mode. So the container format is MOV. Video bit rate is 30,000 kilobits per second. I thought this was 250, but I see it's 120. So time is in keyframes 120. So now comes something very important. So video encoder H264 NVENC, and this could be different if you don't have a NVIDIA video card. I'm not sure, but I have a NVIDIA video card and I think that's the reason it says NV for NVIDIA. I'm not sure, but that's what I use. So these settings, LIBX264, make sure, oh, this is like the most crucial one because I had so many screen recordings and I could hear that it was like a low rate mp3 file which i hate it i just want to have like the highest quality as possible and you could put this above above anything but audio encoder should be pcm s16 le which is i think 16 bit and then audio bit rate i just put in these numbers because this is the bit rate of a high quality cd which is plenty high enough because on youtube it will probably be compressed anyway but one for one one I've never experimented with uh, tracks. I think you can put more when you have MOV files so they become separate tracks or MP4, I'm not sure, but this is what I use. So QuickTime MOV, uh, 30,000 kilobits per second, 120 time frames, video encoder H264 NVENC, Livix 264, audio bit rate is at um, 1411. And one of the most crucial ones to have it in high quality uh, sound, PCM S16 LE. Now also what's pretty important, it depends on your screen, but I have it, like my basic resolution is 4K and the output is also 4K. So that's basically it. And that's how I do these high quality screen uh, recordings. And again, this, like, man, I tried so many things. I even had like plugins that I put on the master bus and it would record the output in real time to a separate WAV file, which was a hassle to work with, like in video editing and stuff like that. Um, I used that, what's this called again? That voice meter banana, but then I had to use my ACO or ASIO driver in Cubase, which I hated. I just wanted to use my Apollo, like my universal audio drivers. And I think you wanted to use the same. And when I found this, this ASIO plugin, I started it up and it became a breeze. And you can like add any input you want on here. Like sometimes I do a screen recording with my guitar. So I just add the channels of my of my uh, quad cortex, like input one and two. And I can record that along with Cubase. Man, that plugin saved my life. So big thank you to Ander Sema or Ander Sema, Alex Anderson. Dude, that dude, dude, he's the OG of the world, I think. But that basically allows you to use high quality like captures and um, like directly from Cubase works perfectly. And I can keep just my own, like what's it called? My own ACO system. So ACO driver, that's it, yeah. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments, I'm glad to help. But uh, this is really a time saver. And some of you asked how do my screen recording. So this is basically it. These are uh, all my settings. This is my whole setup. So uh, now you know. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And uh, see you next time. All right? Cheers.